the dollar uh, down so dramatically, uh, Dave, we get some real good action uh, in the commodity space and where the folks are basically, you know, going with, with the nugget, going with the JUNG, which is the small uh, uh, exploration uh, uh, equities inside the uh, gold market, or when we're talking oil, we're talking about the ERX and the gush. I mean, we got some action out here with this dollar lower. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And I think the way you framed it uh, in the intro to this um, uh, segment is, is really interesting. The dollar was just kind of grinding higher quietly, kind of trying to, to break out to new highs, as you noted, uh, didn't happen on Friday. And here we are. Uh, and now we see commodity prices recovering, uh, oil prices uh, moving sharply. And yeah, so today we are seeing um, after really the uh, traders have really been more focused on things that we've talked about before, semiconductors, biotech. Today we're seeing um, folks really move back into uh, the nugget, um, J nugs of the world, and even uh, your your uh, your note about oil and gas stocks. So so gush gush especially is seeing some uh, above average volume. That's really focused on just the uh, oil and gas EMP names. Yes. Um, so definitely more volatile than you're going to find with uh, the broader energy play. You know, it's amazing. So, Dave, this morning, and folks, I'm, I'm looking at the market, and, you know, it seems like the, mar the market, well, right now, doesn't care whether the dollar goes up or down. And it was like the market just wants to get open. And so it was so intriguing because of the fact, you know, that the, uh, the oil market got smoked, the gold market got smoked. And my point is, even bringing these up, folks, if, if you trade, you know, even the singles or the doubles, it's really cool because when you get – both of those sectors really got killed, okay? And they're in huge consolidations, okay? So, so when I'm looking at the, the other side of that, there's a real good, you know, you don't have to get the bottom, you don't have to get the top. We know that. Uh, but there's a good shot if this dollar goes lower that we're going to see a lot more expansion, of course, into those names, and, and that takes the small caps up, which is pretty wild. Yeah, and, it's, and today's gains are, you know, at least from a sector perspective, relatively broad-based. Um, but I think you're absolutely right is that we – um, we certainly obviously saw commodities come back in a huge way uh, a few months ago, push pause on that. Now, again, if we begin to start kind of looking through, uh, of course, the news is probably going to get worse about the Delta variant and COVID cases in the U.S. and maybe yes. uh, before it's better uh, because that's essentially sort of, uh, unfortunately, we know how it goes with these waves. Right. Uh, what, what that means, though, is that traders – can now position maybe for what does that next leg begin to look like. We know the reopening trade has really stalled. Uh, people have moved back into many of the sectors, uh, the growth areas, the market. Um, but still, even after having a great run, if you look at a 10-year chart of just you know, a, a single beta energy index, um, it's still at kind of generational lows in some ways that you know there's some opportunities for traders, especially when they've been so on a favor to step back in in a day like today. Yeah, which is, which is so cool when you look at the whole context of the different sectors you know, that, that are inside of the marketplace. So, so let, let me ask you, you know, the ETF business has come a long way. When you're looking to get new ETFs that direction will bring out, what are you normally looking for? Are you, are you looking for liquidity? You're looking for, you know, like I know thermatic ones, you were way ahead of it there when you came out with the thermatic ones. We, no one even knew what thermatic was when you first come out with them, which is pretty cool, man. All right. I mean, now it's a regular word. Okay. Uh, but what do you normally look for, Dave, when you say, okay, I want to bring up another ETF. I think this is going to be, uh, this is going to help clients. What, what do you look for? So when it comes to the thematic side of the house, really looking for these big picture transformational changes, okay. uh, which are uh, occurring, right? So that's, and our thematic focus is really in those areas, the work from home ETF, the Moonshot Innovators ETF. Yes. On the leverage and inverse side, that is a little bit more of what I'd call a science. So there we are looking for really strong liquidity on a particular area. Does it have um, volatility so that traders, again, those products are geared toward traders, that they can take advantage of up and down moves uh, should they choose to do so. But also, you know, is that basket capturing uh, a unique slice of the market? So are those top 10 holdings either dominating, you know, uh, dominating performance and really going to help drive that volatility. So that's what we look for there. But we also are comfortable, you know, putting out unique products um, where, where we uh, might see some opportunities where thematics are meeting trading. So we, you know, we recently launched uh, a 2x fund on global clean energy stocks, which is not an area 
historically that traders would have been focused on, but because um, we know uh, basically this push-pull relationship with carbon and energy production moving toward the green side, you know that 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 particular fund gives traders an opportunity to step in and, and take take leveraged views on the clean energy space. That's so cool, man. That's a great explanation, by the way, because because I can tell you just it, 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 myself. That's why I brought up the aspect with the dollar being so low today as a trader. I just felt that that's why I brought the first ones up, because it's like, oh, I love that it's already started to move and they've got killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know, pretty cool. Dave, thank you so much for the great education. We look, we look forward to having you two weeks from today. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Stay right there, folks, and come right back.